A national organization is exploring the damage pesticides can do to children. Members of the Pesticide Action Network and Minnesota group Toxic Taters came together for a presentation on the topic on the White Earth Reservation today. Jackson Bruner has our, has our story. Citing its recently released Kids on the Front Line report, the Pesticide Action Network says the harm chemicals meant to kill insects can do to people can be serious. The uh, research connecting pesticides with harms to children's health is just getting stronger and stronger. One of those areas is the connection between pesticides and certain types of childhood cancers, so leukemia and brain tumors especially. Pesticides are often sprayed onto plants, but that doesn't mean they stay in place. Sometimes they drift. The pesticide lands on the crop, but then maybe the next a couple hours or a couple days later, it turns into a vapor and rises back into the air and travels a bit further. It's at that point, they say, when a child is likely to be exposed. They take in a lot more air than adults. Until they turn 12, kids breathe at about twice the rate of how fast adults breathe. So if there's pesticide in the air, a kid is going to be taking in more of that. They're really bearing an unfair burden of these chemicals, and we know enough information now to make changes around those policies that are letting those chemicals um, impact our kids. The PAN has a multi-step plan for fixing the issue on farms nationwide. For one, they'd like the type and amount of pesticide used to always be public information. If you look at the top eight pesticides sold in Minnesota, six of them are linked with cancer, three of them are linked with harms in development, and six, uh, six of them are suspected endocrine disruptors. The network also wants pesticide-free buffer zones around schools and other sensitive sites. Limiting pesticide use is the group's top priority because they say the situation today in Minnesota and across the nation is, quote, unacceptable. Nobody should have to move. Nobody should have to lose their livestock. Nobody should have to lose their crops because they're being exposed to these chemicals. In Ponsford, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.